everyone, uh, this is Piyush Gupta. Uh, in this video, I will give a brief overview on how to create publication quality images from Paraview. Uh, these images can also be used in your presentations and posters, and especially for posters, considering that you need a very good quality image for posters because it's blown up. So let's first start by opening a file. So in this case, I'm going to open this GFEM file and I'm going to create a image of the mesh, which we generally show in our publications. So this GFEM mesh is uploaded. It's shown on the surface here. So I'm going to change it to surface with edges, which is again, one of the most common ways in which we show the image. Now, if I want to save the image, like this, you will see that some parts of the image look fairly bad. For example, if you look here, you cannot really make out the individual lines. So let's see if I save this image and upload it, import it in Inkscape, how does it look? So if I go to File, Save Screenshot, Save this image, let's call this image 1, okay. Now let's go to Inkscape. Here I go to File, Import, Image 1. I'm going to import this image. Now this image is imported in Inkscape. Now the resolution of this image is the resolution which you chose there. Unfortunately, in Inkscape, there is no easy way to crop, but I'll show you a trick on how to crop uh, in Inkscape. So imagine that you want to crop only this part out of this entire fig image. Uh, so we will create an additional box on top and the size of this box we will choose as the size of the cropped image which we need. So like this and this. Now to crop the crop the image, what you need to do is you need to select both the uh, the image and the box which you created on top. Go to object, uh, clip, and set. And you can see that the image has been cropped. Now, if I look at this image, and if I zoom in, again, I can clearly see that the quality of the image is not that great. Uh, you can argue that at 100% the quality of image is not bad, but then most of these, most uh, these days, most of the times we read uh, all the journal papers on our laptop or our office monitor screens, uh, where sometimes we will blow up the image to 200, 300%, and if you actually blow this image up to 300%, it would look fairly bad. So obviously, this is not a good good quality image to be used for publication. Uh, this is not a bad image if you want to use for presentation because the size of this image will be much smaller. So now let's look at another case. So what we are going to do now is going to save this same mesh with, we're going to save the same mesh with a different resolution. And by different, I mean, like, let's, let's try to save this mesh with a high resolution. So I will go to again to save screenshot, but this time I will save this, I will just, artificially increase the resolution by multiplying both these numbers by let's say 5. So 922 into 5 would become 4610, 535 into 5 would become 2675 and let's say I'm gonna save this image. Uh, I'll call this as image 2. Now let's try to upload image 2 in Inkscape. So now I'll go to File, Import, Image 2. And you can see that the size of Image 2 is much, much larger compared to the size of Image 1 because the resolution of this PNG file is much larger. Open. Now, as soon as I open, you see that the image has been imported in its original size, which is, if you compare to the size of the A4 page, is also much much bigger so the first thing we will do again is to crop this
we're gonna move this otherwise this will also get cropped so we'll select the image and the box and then go to object equip and set now let's try to get them towards the same same uh, zoom level so now uh, uh, first of all before doing that let's actually take a closer look at the image now you can see that the lines are clearer even here we can clearly see the lines but obviously this is a much bigger image than the size of an A4 sheet so you're gonna have to reduce the size of this image so you go to object transform I'm going to scale it I'm gonna scale it about 15 16 percent uh, actually about 20 percent because I multiplied the resolution by 5 so if I reduce it to 20 percent it should be the original size I'm gonna scale proportionally with respect to the width and the height and I'm gonna apply so now these two are fairly similar size figures however you can clearly see the difference in the quality which I'll show by zooming in here but is this a good image the now the thing is that if you see these lines have become much much thinner and this is going to be okay if you're just showing one image at the center of your paper but imagine that this image is part of a much bigger figure where you have five or six such meshes and other things like that then so let's try to reduce the size of this image even further so let's say I'm gonna scale it another to another one fourth of the size I'm gonna apply and now let's look at this image so if I zoom in if I zoom in now to a paper level this doesn't look like a great image again because the lines are barely visible so let's transform it back to the size of the other image which would be 400 percent okay so what do we do now uh, so in this case what we'll do is we'll go back to paraview and we will increase the line width here now in general you can this you will have to test based on your resolution you're choosing and the, the quality of the image the uh, the closeness of the lines together and other things like this uh, for a resolution about 4500 in X direction and Y direction like uh, I would choose a line width of about let's say 8 so if I look here this will look again very bad but when I save this in the the bigger size which was 4610 versus 2675 let's call it image 3 and let's try to upload this image again from here so I'm, I'm gonna import this image uh, open again now now if you see this image has qualities of both first of all if you look at the top it's not it's uh, it's not like a big blob of blue but individual lines are visible and also the quality of the image is fairly good so again we are gonna go through the entire process of first cropping this image let's see uh, so we'll create we'll create a rectangle we'll select both of them we'll go to objects clip set we're gonna transform this to again 20% so as so the size of this is similar to the other two images and apply and then we're gonna move it here to for comparison purposes now again if you if you look at all these three images 
this image is definitely out of question considering the quality of the image uh, now but if we compare these two images together you can see that the lines here look much sharper and uh, almost and much thicker uh, and this would when you print it on a paper this would look much nicer compared to this uh, compared to the figure with uh, in the middle so this is something I want you to remember uh, in general when you are saving any image on your screen until you are, unless you already have a resolution of like 5000 uh, try to go for a resolution of about 4000 5000 in x direction and around the same multiple in y direction so one important thing is do not so for example now let's let's see what happens if i save this image by 5000 by 5000 image 4 let's import this image this is another way of just importing anything in the center so it, uh, choosing 5000 by 5000 basically would create a small circle uh, square block in between and it would only save the the center part but imagine that if your if your image ha if uh, if your para view had some information here and some information here then that would not get saved so the best option for anyone would be to basically just multiply this number with some value such that it reaches close to 5000 and then use the same multiple for the y direction that way you would be actually be saving the entire window that way you save the window which is shown in the blue here again uh, this is this kind of work is mostly required only when you are doing uh, publication quality plots you don't need this kind of these kinds of figures uh, when you are doing when you need uh, only for presentations however I would also recommend these kinds of plots uh, these kinds of images for uh, post presentations uh, again this is a very quick overview I also told you how to do cropping again if you have any more questions on how to create better images in paraview uh, you're more than welcome to contact me anytime. Thank you.